Breaking news from KCTV 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Josh Jackson. And I'm Carolyn Long. Breaking tonight, the most complete look at a crash that badly injured five-year-old Ariel Young and sent former Chiefs assistant coach Britt Reed to prison. Yeah, tonight we have new video just released by police. That crash happened back in February of 2021 when Reed slammed his vehicle into two cars that had pulled to the side of an on-ramp to I-435 near Arrowhead Stadium. Reed pled guilty to DWI, causing serious physical injury. At 5, we showed you that newly released police dash camera video of Britt Reed moments after the crash. It reveals Britt Reed asking about the young girl. He complains about an injury, and police decide to take him to the hospital by ambulance. So now we turn to our investigative reporter, Angie Bracona, who also reviewed the prosecutor's file. Yeah, it reveals a road rage investigation involving Britt Reed taking place just three months before that crash. Angie? Johnson County Prosecutor Steve Howe declined to speak with us about why charges were never filed regarding this investigation. It caught our attention because Ariel's family often spoke of two different systems of justice, one for the average person and then a different system for those with connections. The complaint actually comes from an Olathe police officer who claims Britt Reed cut him off while driving to work in Gardner, Kansas in November of 2020. In that report, a detailed play-by-play -play of what happened according to that officer. The officer says he was cut off and then honked his horn at the driver. He said Britt Reed gets out of his vehicle, cusses him out, and punches his window. The officer gets a picture of the driver's license plate and goes to work, then figures out it's Britt Reed through DMV records and Reed's driver's license photo. The officer files a complaint. A Johnson County Sheriff's deputy then goes to Reed's house. The report says Reed denied the event and hadn't been in Gardner, Kansas. When the deputy presses, Reed eventually says he misunderstood. He admits he did knock on someone's window but didn't punch it and didn't really know where Gardner, Kansas was. The deputy uses the words untruthful and lied regarding Britt Reed in his report and says he believes this event happened the way the officer describes it because there's even a smudge mark on the window more consistent with a punch than a knock. And the officer took a picture to document it. I believe it is probable Reed assaulted officer by angrily approaching officer's vehicle and punching the window, causing officer to reasonably believe he was in immediate danger. Reed also initially lied about the incident. Please forward this to the Johnson County District Attorney's Office for consideration of charges. Once again, no charges were filed and this never became public. But the Jackson County prosecutor was aware of this and it was in her case file. Once again, we did not receive a comment from the Johnson County Prosecutor's Office, and that is Steve Howe. Carolyn. Now, Angie, Britt Reed has a road rage incident in his past, correct? Yes, that is true. In Philadelphia back in 2007, it also involved a gun and drugs. It also has allegations of lying to police. That was also in this prosecutor's file. In the end, Reed took a plea deal for the weapons and the drugs. He served eight months and he went to drug court. Well, since I have you here and we're on the topic, mm -hmm. how is Ariel today? Yeah, that's the most important. Mm -hmm. Her attorney, Tom Porto, uses the phrase forever changed by this accident. Ariel wears thick glasses and she is in special education classes. She was at that sentencing hearing. She is getting fitted for leg braces to help her walk better. Josh. Thank you for that, Angie.